This NFL Offensive and Defensive Player of the Year edition of the Sports Gambling Podcast is brought to you by Shady Rays. SGPN is teaming up with Shady Rays for Shady May. Get fifty percent off your Shady Rays using promo code SGPN, and then go to sportsgamblingpodcast.com/shady for your chance to win five hundred dollars. We're also brought to you by Edge Boost. Edge Boost enables you to double your bet with no interest. Go to sportsgamblingpodcast.com/edge to get started today. Hey everybody, Joe Theismann here. You're listening to SGPN. So do this, let it ride. Everyone to the sports gambling podcast. I'm Sean, second the money green with my partner in picks, Ryan. Real money, Kramer. What's happening, Cram? Dog. Ah, uh, football. Thursday night football. Sounds good. We flexed into we're, we're we're flexing Thursday night football into May, baby. Great oh, idea. Man, just so fun. So fun. Figured I'd save it, discuss it on the air with you. But there, uh, seeing as we we fancy the NFL the most, yes. Sunday, Monday, Thursday night, yep. football. Yep. I'm just saying that I I would tend to look for a schedule that resembles that going into the summer months. I'm just saying. I'm oh. I'm guaranteeing football talk on those three days <laughs> to get people ready. Yes, and we, we, we are. Got, it's a, it's like. Uh, what did Jimmy Butler say? You fall back on your habits. When being asked about what how they're going to respond to this. Oh, I know. Well, and it's funny because you could tell like it, there, some of the crowd must have been a little off put by his comments about um, you know, drinking wine, beer and anyway, yeah. So they uh, he basically said you fall back on your habits. So I want to create good habits for the listeners. Got to create good listening habits. Of course, we are live every Sunday through Thursday 8:30 Pacific, 11:30 p.m. East. Smash! That subscribe button and that is not that's not that's the bare minimum. We will be hitting you with more <laughs> podcasts well, certainly, but just so you get in on the live YouTube and uh Sims are coming as well. Now that we have the schedule, probably not uh, Memorial Day weekend, but stay tuned after that. Uh, getting some, getting some sims because they're fun. Uh, figuring out some of the logistics there, but um, yeah, big it summer. It seems of football. like if we're, yeah, we're trying to work out having, you know, making sure that we can enjoy uh, friendly competition with <laughs> monetary <laughs> output. Yes, so we're working on that, and again, we've we've already started our NFL future bonanza here, Ryan. Bonanza. We've we've done uh, early NFL Week One lines. We've done uh, a lot of the um, well, division you want me to list bets. It off? Yeah, walk walk people through. Starting this. with February seventeenth, when we first looked at Super Bowl Fifty Eight and the futures odds, uh, we have given out free agent destination futures. We've done uh, four separate draft prop <laughs> episodes. <laughs> We also gave you a, a rookie props episode, division futures, comeback player of the year, and coach of the year, MVP, way, way too early week one picks. And uh, now, what we're going to talk about today offensive and defensive player of the year. And of course, uh, sign up for Edge Boost. Perfect opportunity to double down on your favorite bet here. I uh, I'll save my edge boost double down play of the you know what uh, let's see I actually will uh, I'm gonna I think I used it yesterday so I can't bring it back again I'll save my edge boost double down play of the day but imagine being able to double up on uh, one of these futures and again that's what's awesome about edge boost uh, the world's first ever bet now pay later Visa card uh, we've all seen these and it's is buy now pay later break it up over four equal weekly installments but this is uh, again 
I I would be hesitant to even uh, endorse this if it wasn't for the fact that it's zero percent interest. Zero percent interest. I I'm saying it again just so you guys realize they're not the vig is not running here. Zero percent interest. Uh, you can get up to twenty five hundred dollars in advances. So imagine you find that sweet future or you find that bet where you're like I wish I had access uh, to get down on this in a bigger way. Go to sportsgamblingpodcast.com slash edge to get started today. Sportsgamblingpodcast.com slash Slash edge. Oh, it's you, you got to do it if you're sharp. Must be 21 years or older to use. Only valid in legal gambling states. Problem gambling? Call 1 800 Gambler. Uh, Sean, what was that interest? Zero, Ryan. Yeah. Zero. Yeah. Which is ironic because I have a hundred percent interest in uh, in in edge boost. I I've, I'm already signed up. Going to be spending some time out in Colorado. Probably while this show is airing, I'll be out in Colorado. So wow, uh, going to be getting down on some edge boost action. Yeah, how much uh, are you going to entertain some Colorado Colorado <laughs> uh, herb? Me? Is, is it different? Like, Woo, it's smoking my weed. Yeah, I'm curious. Like, uh, do they have special strains for the altitude? Oh, that's a good Pair, question. Pairs nicely with a nice hike through the <laughs> Rockies. We'll have to ask our boy Sean Payton. You're the man. Yeah, right, you are. I, oh, we gotta bring it. Yeah, we, bring it back one more time before we get to these. <laughs> Pull it out. Yeah. Yeah. Keep going. Keep going. You're the man. Yeah, you are. <laughs> You're the man. Yeah, you are. <laughs> He's got such a great sonar laugh. I'm making it's, that. It's, I'm, I'm cutting that after the show. Yes, yeah, send that audio over. That is definitely making it onto the drop. Button. All right. Wow. Let's well, do it, Kramer. So, so, uh, so, shout out to the the books out there. I think FanDuel and DraftKings both took the crown for the most players offered <laughs> in the offensive player of the year. We'll start with offense. 150. Which my initial reaction was, oh come God. on, you do not need to offer, and I'll I'll just list off the bottom tier of two fifty to one guys. You don't need to list off any of these. Stop me if you feel like you want to you want to take one of these guys, Sean. But Robert Woods, <laughs> MVS, Cordero Patterson. Now wait a second. A couple of years ago, maybe you could talk <laughs> me into this one. Cam Akers, Tyler <laughs> Algier. Which, by the way, quick aside. Listen to Arthur Smith on the Green Light Pod, and he made a very interesting comment about his excitement of the offense, but specifically Bijan Robinson. He went out of his way to compare him to Cordero Patterson, a running back that can line up all over the field, and then went out of his way to say he's nothing like Tyler Algier. That means he has a role for Tyler. Algier. Uh, that that's what I heard. Uh, Damian Harris, Elijah Mitchell, Nico Collins, Michael Gallup, Anthony Richardson. I'll stop because I know you're a Richardson stan. No, D you're not. a Dick stan. <laughs> I I think he's I think he's interesting in fantasy because of his running ability. We see that all the time with quarterbacks, uh, especially in their rookie year, while they're still learning the offense. Yeah, they end up scrambling a bunch and end up being really good. Two fifty to one. Real really good for fantasy. I don't see any. I can't. I don't see a rookie quarterback doing it. I actually have a couple nuggets here. Uh, really? Just as far as uh, oh, on the past, award. past winners. Yeah, let's get let's get three it. Three of the last five have been receivers. Yep. Um, receivers, though, historically have only won 10%. Only two players have won back to back titles Earl Campbell and Marshall Falk. Both of them actually won, time. won three years in a row, and actually no tight end has ever won. So as far as the recent winners, you have Justin Jefferson last year, Cooper Cup, Derrick Henry, uh, Michael Thomas, Patrick Mahomes, Todd Gurley, Matt Ryan, Cam Newton, DeMarco Murray. Oh my god, I forgot he won. Uh Peyton Manning, Adrian Peterson, Drew Brees, Tom Brady, and then Ch uh, Chris Johnson. So to me it seems like at least as of late, it's the best skill player that isn't a quarterback, uh, but, but they will make exceptions for quarterbacks uh, sometimes. Yeah. Like there are cases where th you win both offensive player of the year and MVP, but not, not as of late. So I heard someone caveat Derrick Henry's award as like, it's an outlier. It's not like, it's not reason to look to take running backs and because it was such a, uh, just a fantastic year by Derrick Henry where he received the majority of the votes. It was a landslide, but there wasn't a wide receiver in the top six that year in the voting. It was Derrick Henry, Mahomes, Rogers, Allen, Kelsey, Kamara. So 
Yeah, I, I guess uh, the takeaway is running backs that have crazy seasons and score a ton can de- are definitely on the table. Well, and and Patrick Mahomes did win Offensive Player of the Year in 2018 and MVP. So you have to have. I think kind of an insane year records for the table yeah. stakes are record setting and the yep. records that are on the table. You have to break the touchdown record yeah. or the yardage record. Yeah. yeah. Right. Basically. Like, yeah. I, and I, probably I, both probably yeah. have to do both. Um, <clears throat> all right. So continuing along the guys that shouldn't be listed, by the way, should we start a campaign for calling Anthony Richardson, Tony Dixon, <laughs> Dixon, <laughs> Anthony Dixon, Anthony Tony Dixon. Richardson. Uh, Cole Komet, Tyler Boyd, Zay Flowers, Desmond Ritter. Mm. Okay, I mean Desmond Ritter at two hundred fifty to one. Here's what you got: As a you quarterback. have a quarterback in a offense, his second year. I don't think he has a chance to win, but I, I, I guess at two hundred fifty to one, maybe you could talk me into it. I, I think you're you're right. I, I think you're. I think any quarterback should give you pause because when you go look at the voting. It's very rare to find a year where a quarterback isn't in the top three of voting, and in, in most years, it's probably two quarterbacks up there. So yeah, a lot of times, if the quarterback wins Offensive Player of the Year, it could be because they're essentially the second quarterback. Like I, I think Hertz probably should have gotten uh, Offensive Player of the Year, but again, like it's Jefferson there, set yeah. some records, and that kind of takes precedence. I think it allows you to your team to not be as good. I think that's the other kind of. So if you had two quarterbacks that had amazing season, well, if one team only say won nine games but won their division and gets a home playoff game, and Desmond yeah, Ritter is a bad you, example. MVP, but. you have to essentially have to be a quarterback, uh, with the exception of maybe Christian McCaffrey, two hundred to one, or and and also be like thirteen and four, fourteen and three. The yeah. when we go to defensive player of the year, it's even more wide open than offensive, I think, because. History has shown they don't factor in team success as much. They're willing to. Oh, it's it's unrelated. Yeah, yeah. But on the offensive side, it does si- still seem like it's somewhat tied to performance. So, so just anecdotally, going back the but, last. But I mean, a guy like, and I'm trying to think who would fit this mold, like a Barry Sanders. Yeah, would still be in the mix for Offensive Player of the Year. Obviously, not MVP, and the team being really bad. I'm trying to think of who is that guy this year that would be. A crazy skill position player, receiver or running back, and and not get in the mix. The fact that no no uh, tight end has ever won is always interesting for so Kelsey. But I would say if you're a skill position, it's a twenty touchdown game. I think that's yeah. You have to be in the realm of having s- contributed directly to twenty touchdowns. Well, and and that's the crazy thing about Justin Jefferson. If you actually look at his year. Uh, all the advanced people will say you, he kind of ran cold on touchdowns, like his expected yeah. touchdowns. I mean, he had 128 catches, 1800 yards. <clears throat> I mean, he was averaging over 106 yards per game, which is just bonkers. And he only had eight touchdowns. Like he, he's yeah. due for touchdown regression. So I, I mean, I'm sure we'll talk about it a ton fantasy and even here offensive player of the year, but uh, you could make a case he's he's due for more touchdowns. Yeah, and I guess I guess from that perspective, like looking at the vote from last year, Mahomes second place. Well, what did Mahomes get? The MVP. Hurts third place. So almost maybe just was was this like a strangely down year? Like it, as I look at it now, it's actually a little puzzling that Jefferson won the award over Hurts, for example. Yeah. No, I mean. I- yeah. It's a vote. It's a voting. It is. A, it is a tricky award, but, and but that's Jefferson, what makes it interesting because there are more guys that that you can build a path to. First place vote thirty five for Jefferson, three for Hertz. Going back the last five years, only one of those years was a quarterback not in the top two, and they were in the top three. So very. I mean, it's just like the MVP. It's skewed heavily to the quarterback. All right, Kareem Hunt, Mike Williams, Ryan Tannehill. No, nothing. He's a quarterback. Zeke Elliott. Which come on. See Kelly, what are you doing? It's not on our roster. Elijah Moore, which by the way, he's what team is Elijah Moore on, Sean? He's on the Browns. How hard are you grinding? Look at that. Alec Pierce, one of your guys. Quentin Johnson, Bryce Young. Yeah, I don't uh, no rookies for me. James Conner, Deshaun Watson. Deshaun Watson. That's interesting. I, I as much as that's I'm, interesting. As much as and again, he'll I, never get the MVP. Again, as much as I uh, mark you know, it down. 
find myself mark it down find myself in the same position here where I go oh I don't like this guy I think he sucks but now we're talking at 250 to 1 the path to Deshaun mm. Watson not a rookie offensive player of the year quietly a little bit of a redemption story people are very bullish on the passing offense the weapons let's say he has an under again I don't think he's going to have a good season but certainly it's in the realm of possibility that he has a undeniably great statistical this season this is an insane price. how what better way to punish him by not giving him yeah. the MVP and then the offensive player of the year? It's almost like, well, we have to yeah. give it to him because of this insane year. The fact that he has similar odds as guys Zeke like Elliott. Kareem Hunt, <laughs> Zeke Elliott, Zay Flowers, <laughs> Cole Komet, Cole Komet, they brought in Robert Tunyon, Cordero Patterson, <laughs> same odds. Uh, K- uh, Tyler Algier, like, it, all right, so he's we- he's a put it this way. He's a guy getting on a $250 million guaranteed deal. <laughs> who's the starting he quarterback. Reset the qu- he literally reset I mean, the quarterback. You, you almost have to take a yeah. shot of him on offensive right. player. Of Let's the year. not be stupid. Good, good call. Dalton Schultz, Devonte park. I mean, these guys all have the same odds as Deshaun Watson. This is objectively funny. I don't, I mean, I do kind of fucking AJ Dillon is too <laughs> Hunter Renfro, AJ Dillon. All right. James cook, Hunter Henry, Isaiah Hodgins, my guy. Tyler Higby, DJ Chark, Hollywood Brown. Pause here. Any chance? I mean, he's a number no. one receiver nope. on a team that's going to have nope. a shit defense. No. Any chance he could just put up crazy numbers? No. Just all right. Jacoby Myers, Darnell Mooney. I mean, Colt McCoy is not being involved. What in if it's Kyler? What if Kyler here? comes back faster than we <laughs> expect? No, uh, none of these guys. All right. So moving along to the 200 to one tier, JK Dobbins. Oh, that's awfully interesting, but no, thank you. Odell Beckham jr. Better bet offensive player of the year, 200 to one or comeback player of the year, 40 to one. Yeah. Well, I, I guess I would say hmm, th- there is a five X difference here in odds. I would probably just roll the dice and <laughs> just say, really trying to get back, Sean to bet on say def- offensive player of the year, but I'm not betting on either. Uh, JSN, uh, Mark Andrews, Sam Howell. All right, let's pause. Another quarterback. No, nope. not interested. Eric Bieniemy, that Chiefs offense has some receivers. McLaurin, Dotson. Yeah, no thanks. No. Yeah, I'm kind of with you. I, I like Sam Howell. I, I I wonder if he could truly do what you need to do to get this. I just Al- don't. Th- I think if the I think if the Redskins Commanders football team are good. It's because they ha- play good defense and they run the ball well. Like I, I just they don't seem to have the the offensive explosive talent it's to a really fifth round pick, right? To like really the, get pad some numbers. Fifth round pick, uh, Alan Lazard, Michael Pittman Jr. Which that uh, if he had a quarterback, that that's yeah, he's of the caliber of receiver where that's interesting. Deontay Foreman, David and Joku. Romeo Dobbs, Juju Smith Schuster, Keenan Allen, who by the way, Keenan Allen looking very good in shorts uh in OTAs. <laughs> I'm all in on the Chargers. Now I need to get oh, some, wow, some Herbert stacks. Areem Mostert. Again, these are all two hundred to one. Rashad Bateman, another Ravens uh receiver. Yeah, and I, I don't know if you saw Ryan, and maybe impacts your MVP uh selection there, oh. but Lamar Jackson went out of his way to say expect Less running, more throwing. Oh, I him. know. That's that we discussed. I I literally called that out. Like he he's got something to prove now. And when we see, when we have seen Lamar with something to prove, he tends I just to think prove that's, it. Well, I, I just think that's going to hurt his game. Like I think he needs. You to might run be the right because be maybe he, maybe he isn't the passer that uh, I think he can be. But I think he's okay as a passer. But I think he I think he's going to surprise some people. You get him, Lamar. Dallas Goddard. Gabe Davis, Jihad Dotson, Mac Jones. Would we'll pause on that quarterback? Nope. Keep Absolutely going. not. Jordan Addison, Drake London. Nope. Hmm. George Pickens. Man, <laughs> I love George Pickens. No, I, I'm thinking about it. Two hundred to one. Drake London and George Pickens to me. Second and uh, second year receivers. The thing thing with all their offenses is I don't expect them to be crazy. Yeah. But this is an interesting kind of stack with Pickett to win the MVP, or I may be curious to see what his price will be. All right, we'll keep going. Traylon Burks, perhaps he's over those asthma problems from last year. Brandon Ayuk. I, I mean, to me, that's that's crazy that he's in the same area as George Pickens, right? 
he has no competition. He's going to yeah. be a clear number one. I guess I guess that's a it case goes it, and, go, it goes both ways, but he could be an absolute like volume guy. I and he was a first round pick. He's a big physical guy. He could end up looking great. So, I, but yeah, I mean, th- it would take Will Levis being a dude, and I don't think that's the case. Uh, Brandon Cooks now a cowboy. I hate that I have to hate Brandon Cooks now. <laughs> always been a Brandon Cooks guy. Yeah, he's funny. He's always good for a thousand yards. Always like secretly go- a an easy fantasy yeah, pick. Great value in fantasy always. All right, Najee Harris. I know you're another another Steeler. I know you're a big Steeler guy. Evan Ingram, Michael Thomas, Khalil Herbert, Chris Godwin, Pat Fryermuth, Deontay Johnson, TJ Hawkinson, Christian Kirk, Kirk Cousins. Now at the hundred and seventy to one tier. <laughs> Any are you biting there? That's tough because again, how does he get offensive player of the year? And Justin Jefferson doesn't right. I, I mm. guess it's, I guess it would be Justin Jefferson would have to win the MVP for that to happen. <laughs> and that's well, how they would do it. They maybe. would give him the MVP and Kirk cousins would get the or, offensive player. Or of the year. maybe it's Jefferson loses some receiving yards, targets, touchdowns to Hawkinson and Addison. And it's like this well-balanced machine. It's, no, I, I just, it, Kirk has no dog in him. All right, uh, other one seventy to one guys. Kadarius Tony, he could score a lot of touchdowns in the like twenty five percent snap share he's gonna get. Yeah, but there's Kelsey and Mahomes around. Brian there. Robinson Jr., David Montgomery, Joe Mixon, Mike Evans, Alvin Kamara, Jared Goff. Jared Goff is is actually interesting. Again, he if you're if you believe the market and believe their odds to. Be to win the NFC, which I think they're the third team, right? Or who? Uh, yes, yeah, yeah, behind the Niners and the Eagles. I, as far as, yeah, like if you, which said, is crazy to say out loud. Yeah, if I said to you, Ryan, hey, uh, the the guy who's like in third place or his team to win the uh, the the conference, you can get him one hundred and seventy to one offensive player. Not of the only year. that, that feels like a good deal. They were they were a team carried by their offense last year. Yeah. Which maybe their defense gets better and that hurts them, but uh, we can't. Cowboys are it, it bad for actually. The brand. Cowboys are in in front of the Lions. The Lions are fourth. Mm. Uh, I just can't do it. I've it's, I've it's, talked too much yeah, shit on Jerry. It's Gunn. tough for the brand. All right, Kenny Pickett, one fifty to one. No thanks. This I, is better than MVP at forty to one. <laughs> I you know what? I'm gonna go back and put a slight sprinkle on George Pickens, just because I I do think. Give he's, me Kenny Pickett. All right. These are we. I feel like we're gonna look back at this like it's gonna our. Be, it's gonna be our um, our uh, our Calvin Ridley uh, MVP bet that top, we threw out there. He had the top. Uh, actually, no, don't don't mark Kenny Pickett. That's stupid. He had he had the top uh, PFF because I think I think George season. Pickens to me makes sense because he can outshine Kenny Pickett. Mm, maybe Kenny Pickett has that nice nice flowing hair. All right, moving along. Uh, we're in the one fifty to one now. As I mentioned, Kenny Pickett, Miles Sanders, Trey Lance. What the fuck are we doing? Yeah, what the fuck are we doing? Cortland Sutton, Derek Carr, Darren Waller, <laughs> Rashad White. Are you taking shots at Darren Waller? Yeah. None this of these are the redemption none of these, story. None the redemption of these are interesting story. to me. I like Miles Sanders for fantasy. I like the situation he's in. But again, you have to have like a Marshall Falk type season, maybe a Jonathan Taylor type season. So I just don't think he has that. You're in saying it. gold jacket because we're continuing along. Kyle Pitts is next. <laughs> any any sprinkle on Kyle Pitts at 150 to one? <laughs> Tight end has never won Offensive Player of the Year. Yeah, shout out to Dalton. He's back on the train this year. <laughs> just glutton for punishment. Tyler Lockett, DJ Moore, Jerry Judy, Kyler Murray. No thanks, right? Nope. All right, one thirty to one. Dalvin Cook, Brock Purdy, Geno Smith, Isaiah Pacheco. No one, right? Pacheco no. could score a bunch of touchdowns. Geno Smith, that's probably uh, more likely than MVP to me. Um, I just who would you rather have, Brock Purdy or Geno Smith? Neither. Geno Smith by a mile, by a oh, mile, hmm. by a mile. I don't I'm think just, Brock Purdy's playing, dude. This this smoke they're putting out there, like, oh, actually, the type of Tommy John's. It wasn't actually Tommy John. They moved well, the ligament. Shanahan, so like, Shanahan is talking out both sides of his mouth because he we he, have three he first said, round. He said, "quote I'm glad 
I'm glad we don't have to play the Eagles week one because we want to make sure we got all our guys. And then he's also saying Brock Purdy is uh, on schedule to be uh, to be the starter week one. Well, which one is? Do you it, know then? how hard Kayvon Thibodeau is going to snow angel after he <laughs> skull fucks Sam Darnold? <laughs> Sean, this is amazing. All right, so where did I leave off? Yeah, uh, uh, Kyle. N- I would say Gino. Brock Purdy, Gino, I guess. Gino Brock, is the answer. Brock Purdy, I, I guess, is interesting because he he did finish third, I think, in the NFL Rookie of the Year voting. So if you look at it from there, I bet you a lot of guys who have won Offensive Player of the Year are also coming off either winning the Rookie of the Year or coming in a close second. As far as like long shots, honestly, if you look at the voting, it's like Mahomes, Breeze, Brady, <laughs> Rogers, and then a. A, va- a sprinkling of like skill position guys who had great seasons. Yeah. It's not guys named Brock Purdy or Kyler Murray. All right. Gino would be interesting, but yeah, I, I don't, I'm not going to bite. Amari Cooper, Damian Pierce, Devonta Smith, DeAndre Swift. Wait, De- Devonta Smith, DeAndre Swift. Wow, that was, that's a lot. George Kittle, Terry McLaurin, Christian Watson, Calvin Ridley, Jameer Gibbs, Russell Wilson, and Matt Stafford, all 120 to one. To me, there's one guy that stands out on this list, and it's uh, Calvin Ridley. <laughs> you're crazy. Are you you're not reading what's going on down there in OTAs? What? Looks to be clearly at a different level and speed than the other receivers. Hashtag Jones. Zay Jones, Christian Kirk, these uh, Evan Ingram's a fast guy. These are not the not chopped liver. I'm throwing more on. Uh, give me another sprinkle oh, on Matt Stafford at 120 to one. I, how can you not? He has Cooper Cup. I mean, yeah. I guess maybe that's why that you don't yeah. think it could hit. Russ. I mean, Cooper Cup. Yeah, you know what? I'm gonna lose it because Cooper Cup's 20 to one for Offensive Player of the Year. I'll, I'll stay away from. Give me Calvin Stafford. Ridley. Being dead serious. Calvin Ridley. He's a true bet. number one. one. Once is this the redemption bet for him redemption. killing our uh, our. Although I think it was graded as a push because he never took a snap in the season. Uh, yeah, I, I I also had him as my number one receiver. I think before that, I, all this went down. Uh, next up, let's see. Did I uh, any J- Jameer Gibbs? Uh, these rookies, like, come on. All right, uh, Russell couple, Wilson. Couple guys out. at a hundred to one. Javante Williams. I mean, Russell Wilson. Eh. No. Yeah. No. Don't do it. Sean Payton's ripping bongs. He's not. Think, he's not thinking about offensive game plans. Javante Williams, T. Higgins, Dan. I mean, I'd take Samaj Piran over Javante Williams. I'm sure he's not listed, but no. if you had to choose, I'm just saying, I I, I think he's going to be a long recovery. T. Higgins or Dan Jones? Dan uh, Jones, 100 to 1. I don't, again, no. you need more than 15 passing touchdowns. Mm. You need to get to 20 passing touchdowns to be in the mix here. You need to set statistical mm. records. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not interested here either. Uh, it will be an MVP that he wins. <laughs> Ken Ken Walker, <laughs> we're at eighty to one. Ken Walker, I just wanted to get the official number. So Patrick Mahomes almost tripled the number of passing touchdowns uh, last year's. Uh, now oh no, do, now do rushing touchdowns. Rushing touchdowns. Yeah, okay. rushing touchdowns. That'll take a little bit. Well, uh, Dan Jones, I think had seven to help you out. Okay, and I'm seeing. All right. Scrolling yeah, around yeah. here, Pat, Patrick Mahomes maybe has like four. Four, all right. Well, all right. So he doubled combined, them up. Combined, he doubled them up on the ground. No, he's seven is not doubling four. It's close enough. I'm rounding. <laughs> DK Metcalf, Jalen Waddle, Aaron Jones. Anyone in here interesting? Dak. I mean, if I, if I wasn't. I guess you could talk yourself in them at eighty to one. Again, they're they are actually the third place team when it comes to conference odds, but they they seemingly have this run first narrative going on. It, it I it boggles my mind that why they would be. He's fooling all of us. Maybe this is all just an act. Uh, see, uh, Michael Gallup climbing his knees better, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, obviously, I'm not going to bet on the Cowboys. Uh, Aaron Jones, no. Ramond, all right, seventy to one. Ramondre Stevenson, Chris Olave, DeAndre Hopkins. Olave, Olave, I think is worth the conversation because again, we see receivers all the time make a jump in year two. He to me has the swagger and style, much like George Pickens. To, I mean, he had seventy two catches, four touchdowns, with very suspect quarterback play. He could make the leap. You and, he's mark in him? A, and he's in the dome. You gonna mark that down? 
Uh, he could have a huge year. I it, agree. It's close. All right, we'll leave him in consideration. Yeah, let me see. Let me see what else I put Austin on my sheet. Eckler and Tua. Uh no, no to either. Oh, well, Austin Eckler. Let's see Eckler's Austin Eckler. They, they, the media they, loves him. They figured they, out how to rework his, by the team. They figured out how to rework his contract. Twenty Get touchdowns. Him. Big season for a running back. Yeah. Should he be sixty to one? Not on that offense. Not on that Let's, offense. I think we marked that down. I think we marked that. All right. Because here's why. Go crazy, but yeah. What do you mean you don't want to go crazy? <laughs> the fuck is wrong with you? Travis Etienne, AJ Brown, Josh Jacobs, all fifty-five to one. Love AJ Brown at fifty-five to one. This is love it. This was one I I was thinking about coming so in. So predictable. The year. I. I I, I was watching some tape of him. He's looking pretty healthy <laughs> in camp. Dude, he is a fucking dog. Like dog. I mean, listen to listen. He had eleven of receiving touchdowns, eighty-eight catches, fourteen hundred and ninety-six yards. He had more touchdowns, almost you know, a few hundred yards back from Justin Jefferson. Let's say the Eagles' defense maybe not as as good. They're certainly going to be playing some. They have a more competitive schedule. So imagine. Imagine the Eagles go into Kansas City and get a win against yeah, Kansas Hurt, City on Monday night, or they they beat Buffalo at home. Hurt San Francisco. Hurts vacuums up all the awards. I think to your point, yeah, but I do. He think would have to win the MVP in this in this version, which I'm sure you'd be like, oh yeah, that makes sense. But that's the version where AJ Brown wins Offensive Player in the year of the year. A, a Jalen Hurts has won MVP. I think so, but I. Yeah, and because if Jalen Hurts throws for that many touchdowns, people are going to be like, "Wow, he finally like he's transitioned from running back finally fully." Right, you're talking a lot of shit for a guy who's his quarterback. That's not what I'm team. saying. It's what people. <laughs> I, I I literally just said people will say. <laughs> people will say fifty. Many people are saying he threw for twenty two last year. Aaron, you know, I think again. I just think the he has he he uh, is you're just a fucking dog. Okay. I, and I want some action on AJ. That's fine. Aaron Rodgers, Travis Kelsey. Aaron Rodgers. I, I mean, the fact that no tight end has ever won, Travis Kelsey is. He he's. I mean, he's been in the vote recently. Yeah. So. But like, why? Why has he not been anywhere close these previous years? Like, clearly, there's something going on in the voters' minds that they don't. He got. Uh, he was sixth place last year. I mean, he had 12 receiving touchdowns, career high. He had 110 catches. Is he going to have a better year than that? He's getting older. He was fifth place in 2021. Uh, I just, it's for whatever reason, he's just not included in these. They just give him AP and. Yeah, you know. He got sixth place last year. He got fourth place in 2020. Rodgers at 50 to 1 is is probably the, the, the more interesting angle, but I'm not. I, I really think it's going to fail. I mean, he's already getting hurt. He's, he's talking about how strange <laughs> it is to wear jets clothes. I don't know. All right. Diva. Uh, sorry. Bijan, yeah, I'm just not, I'm not that intrigued by Rod 45 to one has Bijan Robinson and Tony Pollard. Uh, no, thank you. I'd rather have Cordero Patterson at two fifty to one than Bijan Robinson at 45 to one. You're uh, you're out on those. I mean, guys, I'd I rather assume. have Tyler Algier, but I, I agree. Oh, that's a great take. That's such a smart fantasy take. You've been crafting your fantasy. No, takes, I think I you? think Cordero Patterson. They uh, they seemingly kind of how dare were working you? him out. As, oh, uh, what are you talking about? No, <laughs> I, I will say the Arthur Smith interview. I just think makes, Tyler Algier has a role in the offense. Oh, 100 percent, hundred percent. Debo. Oh wait, we did Debo. No, we didn't do. No, De we did Debo. Debo, Ty, uh, Trevor Lawrence, C.D. Lamb, Brees Hall, Amon Ross, St. Brown, all forty to one. Amon Ra. <clears throat> He too fits much, it. too much competition, right? With the, on the same team. Yeah, you got uh, well, Jamison Williams. Yeah, Brock the right. They drafted the rookie, the the <laughs> kid out of Iowa. Jamison Williams only missing what three, three, six games. I'm on raw. He's also he's like an uh, he's like Olave, where I think in some cases I do think the fact that no one respects Jared Goff and no one respects Derek Carr. He's better than Olave. Kind of helps your situation. Well, yeah, but I mean, there's also you know you're forty to one versus seventy to one, right? Yeah, but I I feel like what's your case against or how do you do you think Amon Ra's better value at forty to one than Olave at seventy to one? 
See, my problem with I'm I'm Olave is probably the better bet. I think Amara St. Brown is it, just the fact that he could end up the season and when we could be saying, well, he, he's like a bone, like let's lock it up. He's a top five receiver. Uh, I guess you could say that about Olave too. I, I don't know. I'm just, there's too much about both situations. Olave is a better bet. And now that I'm thinking about it more, yep. I'm adding Olave. Yeah, add it in because Michael Thomas is going to perish very quickly into the season. And Derek Carr show has shown us he can lock on to a guy. Did it some? Uh, did it with Mac Hollins? Did it with Devontae <laughs> Adams? Did it with Darren Waller? Uh, although, are we at all worried about uh, Foster Moreau, who has chemistry with Carr, and now he looks like he's cleared no he, because they, cancer in like two they months. They have Jawan Johnson. They got Taysom Hill. They, uh, got it. I I, I think right. they're just bringing him in. For Joe Burrow, Derrick Henry, Justin Herbert, all thirty-five to one. This is a hell of a tier. I, uh, Justin Herbert and Joe Burrow. What are the likelihood they don't end up in the vote? Like what what do you I mean last year let's see did they Burrow was ninth place and uh no votes for Mr. Herbert. Herbert's interesting. Yeah. I want a piece of this Chargers. We already took Eckler at the, at 60 to 1. The fact that we can get Herbert at 33 35 to 1, he could put up counting stats. He could be on a team that doesn't win as many games as they should, and they could reward him with this type of reward. It's tough though if you're a quarterback because they. I think no, the quarterbacks are always there. That's what I'm telling you. I, I we, no, I'm saying I think it's tough if you're a quarterback if you don't end up winning. To no, get you can of, set. Re- he could set a record for passing yards or touchdowns. Well, so and they're so, not. He's not winning MVP. Like okay, but 2018, Mahomes won Offensive Player of the Year and MVP. 2016, Matt Ryan won Offensive Player and MVP. 2015, Cam Newton won Offensive Player and MVP. I think you have to go to. Uh, I'm pretty sure that was the year. Uh, so you're saying that you can't win one without the other, basically. I, I'm just trying to. I'm just trying to do the math in my head where guys won. So like 2014, Aaron Rodgers won the MVP, but. We have uh, Demarco Murray. Uh, I guess my mind. counter would be like, yeah, I don't know, like what 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 year did Lamar win the MVP? Was it twenty nineteen? Twenty nineteen. Yeah, so maybe you're right because Michael Thomas won, but Lamar was Offensive a player. very close second. Yeah. Uh, and who won the MVP in twenty twenty? Because Mahomes was second place, and so maybe you're right. Maybe it's you just got to win the MVP. So scratch that. I, I well, it's, it's, just strikes it, me it's as a guy. weird because we, I, I, and that's why offensive player of the year is such a weird market because I think with the quarterbacks, especially we have to be careful because if you have such a good year, you win the MVP, you win the MVP and, but sometimes they, they get you for both. Right. So it's, well, it seems like most not years necess- they yeah. get you for both. Right. Like that's, but hmm. then if you're, if you like them to have an awesome year, all right. I, I just put it this way. I think we we're getting into the section where if you like Herbert at 35 to one offensive player of the year, just bet Herbert MVP. It's not quite as good of odds, but I think your case is much simpler. Like he's nine to one to win MVP. I think that's doesn't that mean like, well, this is, <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know. The, that's what's tricky about offensive player of the year. That's why I like, I like breaking down this market, but I'm going to pass here on Herbert. All right. Moving along. Where are we at? All right, Saquon Barkley, thirty-three to one, all by himself. Steph Diggs, thirty to one. Nah, I mean Barkley has used the usage, but I, I think they brought in a bunch of receivers. Unlikely. It did. Dig Adams, twenty-eight to one. Josh Allen, twenty-eight to one. He's been in the voting before, near the top. D- Devonte Adams is interesting. I was saying Josh Allen. Yeah. Have we? Yeah. Mm. I don't think I'm trying to look back. It, has there been a someone win MVP, but then a def, different quarterback wins defense or offensive player of the year? Eight to seven. I haven't found one. I'm 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 back to okay. So 2008, Peyton Manning won the MVP, but 2008, Drew Brees, Drew Brees won. So it's pretty rare. And in t- 2007, Brady won both, and that was Drew Brees setting the passing yardage record. Yeah, so 
And then in uh, 2006, uh, Ladanian Tomlinson won both offensive MV or offensive player of the year and MVP. All right. So I get, we're crawl, <coughs> crawling up the board here. So Josh Allen, 28 to one. We're not in on Garrett Wilson, 25 to one. I think we ha- and Patrick Mahomes, Nick Chubb, Jalen hurts. Chubb, no competition could score enough touchdowns. I don't want to have two Browns in the list. Uh, obviously Sean Jalen hurts third place last year, kind of yeah. profiles the, as the kind of guy where if he runs it back, does something similar, equal number of rushing touchdowns. Maybe that's the way they reward him. Although it does feel like he's an MVP guy over an offensive player of the year guy. Yeah. And uh, Mahomes, we've discussed him. I mean, it's strange. It sounds like it's safer to bet them as MVP, but this might be a fun stack. So if you are betting MVP mm. on a quarterback, maybe you sprinkle a small percentage of the bet on the offensive player and go for the double. Because you're getting yeah, you're right. The three, four X odds on it. I know we're kind of talking around in circles a little bit with it, but you're right. Maybe if you get to this point, it does. Yeah, you just you just bet both. I think you just play it as some sort of correlation, like because it because all that we've learned is that it's very rare for a quarterback to win offensive player of the year and not have won MVP. So, so then that would go back to Herbert and Burrow and those guys at the thirty-five. I guess for me then. Then if you like Herbert for you know what Mark Herbert for me. Yeah, because I think you would have to right. Yeah. I'm I'm much higher on Herbert than Burrow. That's a strange equal price. You know what? I'm actually going to do Joe Burrow at 35 to one. That one really keeps talking to me because I could. Yeah. If nothing else, I, I assume when the season gets closer and these odds kind of settle out, you're not going to see Herbert and Burrow this this low. Well, and especially yeah, because Herbert. There'll be. I mean, I if, mean, Burrow is at seven to one to win the MVP. If he really has this historic season, a la it will Patrick match Mahomes. Mahomes. It will match Mahomes, and Mahomes is twenty five to one. So if nothing else, you're sitting yeah. on a little bit of little. All right. So yeah, I'll go CLB. Joe Burrow thirty five to one. You want to talk about Garrett Wilson? He's interesting, right? He's certainly interesting. He does fits that second like Aaron, Aaron, second year receiver, but it does kind of feel like Aaron Rodgers would get the reward if they were good. Yeah. Uh, some of this is some of this is their name as well. Are you marking Jalen Hurts? I'm a company man, so yeah. All right, get a little Jalen Hurts, but I, uh, yeah, if I had a, yeah, yeah, Lamar, <laughs> which by the way, Lamar being twelve to one and twenty two to one, that's a big difference between like Herbert's gap or Burrow's gap in terms of the ratio. Uh, I'm probably less interested. I mean, I like Lamar to win the MVP, so I guess I'm interested in this, but I, I don't know if I would bet on it. Mm. I, I wonder if he would get the double. I wonder if Lamar would get the double. Uh, Jonathan Taylor. Oh, sorry, Justin Fields also twenty two to one. Yeah, um, not not really interested in either one of those. To be I honest. mean, again, he's interesting fantasy, et cetera. But Justin not. Fields, I will say, better chance. Uh, I guess he's the MVP, but I don't see too many versions. Twenty-two to one is just too low. Not not many uh, versions of the simulation where he's the MVP. All right, Taylor, Jonathan Taylor at twenty to one, and Christian McCaffrey at twenty to one with Tyree Kill and Cooper Cup. I just give me Cooper Cup and Tyree Kill over Christian McCaffrey and Jonathan Taylor every day of the week. Now, you liking the Christian McCaffrey MVP or what were we talking MVP? MVP two hundred to one. So twenty to one. It's a ten to one ratio there. Yeah, you must love this then, though. It's still twenty to one. That's still like a thirty-five point dog or whatever. Yeah, yeah, I do because I do think again they, they're going to have multiple is, quarterbacks. This is less a compliment on Christian McCaffrey and more just an insult on the quarterback situation in San Francisco. Uh, and you look, he's been in the offensive player of the year voting four times. Last three years, he's gotten uh, seventh. Every single year, he's been in seventh place, and then in 2019, he was actually third in offensive player of the year. How many? Um, yeah, I, McCaffrey's interesting. When I look across all the chalk, McCaffrey is very. You know what? Mark me McCaffrey too, and that's probably the last one I'm taking. Yeah. Kyrie. All right. So Ty, Tyree Kill, Cooper Cup already won recently uh, in 2021. He's kind of your that's your fun Rams narrative. You're just not getting a sweet, sweet dog price. And then you have Justin Jefferson at 14 to 1 and Jamar Chase at 12 to 1, who's the favorite. Yeah, and, and that I, seems I odd. Just, is I that just right? 
Yeah, I just don't. I think they're just both those guys a little too chalky. I very unlikely they give Justin Jefferson back to back awards. Um, just again, there's just going to be so much competition. Last person to go back to back was Marshall Falk, ninety nine, two thousand, and two thousand one. Yeah, he won it three years in a row. And before that, um, Earl Campbell. Yeah, you you mentioned it already. So I mean, it just like that's not happening. But Jamar Chase being the favorite's interesting to me. Yeah, I, I guess I understand it. But why so, is McCaffrey not right there with him? The more I, that I'm analyzing I, I, this, again, to me, you're playing essentially without a quarterback, as far as we know. Maybe Brock Purdy is the next coming of Joe Montana. If he is, I'll admit no, I'm wrong. He's not. But and, and he has to be completely healthy uh, with no offseason. Well, you see, in the second the, year. his UCL actually wasn't <laughs> at. It was, All right, Ryan. Uh, here we go. So for my final offensive player of the year is Christian McCaffrey, Jalen Hurts. Joe Burrow, AJ Brown, Austin Eckler, Chris Olave, and then a long shot George Pickens and Sean Watson. Man, we gave it a lot, but I think this is what's interesting about this award is I think this is pretty wide open. So, you know, I gave out what six guys here. Um, you know, maybe take two units, br uh, break it up there a little bit. But uh, these are this is fun because of how open it is, at least compared to MVP, which is almost certainly a quarterback. Uh, I gave out six. You gave out eight. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah, like a quarter unit on each one of these guys yeah, feels pretty like first fun. touchdown bets. Yeah. Exactly. Uh, I my final answer: uh, McCaffrey, Herbert, Herbert thirty five to one. Speaking to me, Austin Eckler sixty to one. We agreed on these two. Alave seventy to one. Calvin Ridley on an island one twenty to one. And uh, of course, our guy. Our I hate that we picked Deshaun Watson, but he should not be two fifty to one. Ryan, let's get to it. Let's talk a little defensive player of the year. Hey, while you're listening to this uh, episode, I'm out there in the beautiful state of Colorado doing some hiking. Uh, maybe catch a Rockies game. It is uh, just Shady Rays season, if you ask me. Love my Shady Rays, and I'm always nervous when I travel. Do I bring my sunglasses? Don't I bring my sunglasses? Of course, I'm going to bring my sunglasses, aka my Shady Rays, because if they get lost or broken, I can get them replaced. No questions asked. Again, these shades are. 100% badass, and you get 50% off. ShadyRays.com, promo code SGPN, get 50% off when you get two or more pair. That's a plus EV opportunity. And on top of that, not only do you get great shades at a great discount, you also get a chance to win our Shady Maze contest. Go to sportsgamblingpodcast.com slash shady, show them your receipt, enter it there. We're giving away 500 bucks at the end of the month. It's just that easy, folks. ShadyRays.com, promo code SGPN. SGPN uh, for fifty percent off, and then take it over to sportsgamingpodcast.com slash shady. Kramer, let's do it. Defensive player of the All year. Right. We uh, this is going to be a lot faster, a lot less to talk about. Uh, only a hundred guys, and I I, I want to say like the first uh, sixty will be completely irrelevant. Uh, Two hundred yeah, to one. We can rapid fire. Uh, Aleem McNeil, Jalen Carter. I'm just no. gonna stop. Cameron, jo Cam Jordan, Marcus Davenport, Rousseau, Miles Jack, Chandler Jones, Aziz Ojolari. He's interesting if he can stay healthy. Well, real quick, Ryan, just a couple quick nuggets um, on defensive player of the year overall. Last ten years, uh, you had a forty percent chance of winning if your last name was Watt. Uh, as as JJ Watt won three of them, TJ won one, or I guess the the, the winner had a forty percent chance of of being a Watt. Mostly defensive player of the year, uh, looking for pass rushers. Again, eight of the last ten winners had at least eleven sacks. Four of the last eight winners of the defensive player of the year award were on defenses that ranked outside the top ten. So again, you don't necessarily have to be a good team or even a good defense. They will give it to guys who even, and we'll get to him, Aaron Donald. Like, let's say the Rams suck, but Donald is having an amazing season. They're not. They're not holding that in against him. And position wise, real quick, linebacker 17, defensive end 13, D tackle 10, cornerback only six times, safety five. So, well, and even in, in 2019, when Gilmore won as a cornerback, if you look at the voting, uh, every other player that made the final vote were people getting sacks. Yes. So, cornerback, I think it's just so hard these days. 
because you have to get the counting sets of interceptions, but to get those counting sets, they have to throw at you and they don't really throw at great cornerbacks. It's, it's a weird, you gotta be sauce. Like, you, like we got you, on the, on the thumbnail. Show. Yeah. And there are, there are guys that can uh, figure mark, it out. mark me down for Aziz Ojolari Homer pick. <laughs> okay. I mean, it, it just, like you said, it's a, it's about getting a bunch of sacks. Uh, so yeah, I'm, I'm going to pick him All right, our Buckner. Denzel Ward, cornerback Cam Hayward, Jonathan Allen, uh, Dietrich Weiss. Uh, Jesus Christ, we're not reading through all. Drake, uh, Grady Jarrett, Buda Baker, Leonard Williams, not a homer pick I'm willing to make. Uh, Marlon Humphrey, Jesse Bates, Jordan Whitehead, Khalil Mack. He's a sack guard. Uh, Demarcus Lawrence, Vita Vea, Marshawn Lattimore, CJ Mosley, Yannick Ngakwe. He's not even on a team. Uh, Danico Autry, Jordan Poyer, Jamal, A- Jamal Adams, 200 to mm. one. Hold on. Oh, well, he's coming. He's healthy. Is that interesting at all? He has that super star to piece star appeal. He's on a Pete Carroll defense. No, no, he's, he's, he's JC lost Jackson, Eric Armstead, who, by the way, we, we've met it's Eric, in, Eric Armstead, but it's spelled weird. Uh, Derek Sting- Stingley, eh, Tyron, interesting. Tyron Matthew, Xavier Howard, uh, Gilmore, Tredavious White. This is kind of like a cornerback tier. We've dropped down to 150 to one now. Uh, still not interested in any of these guys. Malcolm Rodriguez of Hard Knocks fame, a uh, little linebacker action. Shaquille Barrett, Jalen Petrie, Kevin Byard, uh, Javon Holland, the Josh Allen who plays defense. Mm. That's actually kind of interesting, right? Maybe Levante David, Jair Alexander, Josh Uche, Jeremy Chin, Trayvon Diggs, Cowboy, George Karlofkis, who, by the way, plays on the Chiefs. Is that an interesting pick? Lots of opportunity, pass rush opportunity. Could he? Probably not. Chiefs, a Chiefs not getting a defensive player of the year, right? Devin White, AJ Terrell, Antoine Winfield he Jr. Have, George Karlofkis did have six sacks rookie year. I don't think a Chiefs going to get a defensive player of the year, right? Is that st- is that too? I mean, if he gets twelve sacks, right? He's gonna have to get more than ten, sa- twelve sacks. Okay, they're not gonna have a game changing defense. I guess that's where I'm at with the right. Chiefs. But not, to that point, I do think there are guys who can randomly get a bunch of sacks on a team or or with a defense that does that isn't great. I I'm with you though. If I was a Chiefs Chiefs fan, I would make this bet. Yeah. Uh, Jack, I'm not going to, but I was just playing devil's advocate. Jack Jones uh, is the final 150 to one guy. All right, more pass rushers here. Will Anderson Jr. rookie 100 to one. No, no. Jordan Hargrave, Darius Slade Jr. Javon, Javon. What did I say? Jordan. Jordan. Javon Hargrave. Minka Fitzpatrick. Fan favorite over here. No, right? Is <sighs> T.J. Watts on his team? Yeah. You, you gave the Watt trend and all. Harold Landry has had injuries. Minka is, and if Minka was gonna do it, I think we we missed that year. No, I mean, I think we, I think we may have given him out last year, yeah. and that that would have been that the time. was his year, yeah. right? He had six interceptions. He had a touchdown. Yeah, he did all the things. You Real quick, uh, I don't know if we went through the um, the previous winners, but uh, it's been a lot of, as you would imagine, pass rushers and stuff. Just real quick. We talked about uh, the type of player. We didn't yeah. list off Nick the Bosa, names. TJ Watt, Aaron Donald, uh, Stefan Gilmore, Aaron Donald, Aaron Donald, Khalil Mack, JJ Watt, JJ Watt, Luke Keekley, JJ Watt, Terrell Suggs, and then Troy Palomalu. So last year with the uh, voting, Nick Bosa first, Micah Parsons second. Ryan, you said a, a chief wouldn't get it. Chris Jones was third in the voting last year. Yeah, he was very dominant. Hassan Reddick uh, was number four, and again, crazy sack total uh, that really see. I mean, sixteen sacks. Uh, after him, Miles Garrett, Max Crosby, Quinn Williams, Sauce Gardner. Sauce Gardner got on the top ten as a rookie. That's interesting. And for the record, Nick Bosa, forty-six of the fifty first place votes. So pretty kind, dumb. Kind of ran away with it. Reddick did get two. Hassan Reddick did get two. There you go. That, that's going to make you feel good. Uh, participation. Trophy. No, right. what, what, what made me feel good is when we kicked their fucking ass in the NFC nice. championship game. Uh, Jalen. So Harold Landry and then Jalen Ramsey, a hundred to one mark down Jalen Ramsey for me. He has the star the, the appeal. He's going to be playing on a team that should be scoring points down there in Miami. Yeah. I like this one. Yeah. Play a little revenge tour here for Ramsey and he fits that mold where they might actually throw at him. They think he's a little, a little past his prime. 
He has the chip on his shoulder. Yeah, let's go. I'll take it. Sam Hubbard, Kyle Hamilton, uh, Nick Bolton, Bobby Wagner back home in Seattle. Darius Smith. This is interesting, and we were talking about this. Uh, He's gonna I, get a lot of single coverage. I mentioned this on, I think, on Visa with our boy uh, Hoops Peterson, Greg Peterson experience. Check that out. This is the wrong price. Yeah, because again, on that on that defensive line, if everyone's trying to block Miles Garrett, yeah. and you have Zadarius Smith there, yeah, well, I'll, I'll sprinkle. coming off a ten tax ten sack season. I'll sprinkle. It, it's correlated to Deshaun Watson having a lot of offense too. Yeah, I mean, I will I think, Brown win the offensive and defensive player <laughs> of the year. What kind of universe will be we, we I, be in? At I that think point? this was a I think this was a a move that wasn't getting talked about enough. Uh, I'm with you, Zayari Smith. Hunter to one's fun. Next up, uh, Tariq Woolen, who we just found out had a, a little little knee cleanup. Knee scope. Randy Gregory, Justin Simmons, Jeffrey Simmons. Uh, Hafunga, Daniil Hunter, Shaq Leonard, J.C. Horn. He's an interesting cornerback idea. Um, Hafunga is a fun player for the Forty mm, ers Yeah, that's, that's but again, all to show. win it to win it as a safety is really tough, and you got uh, you got Bosa on your team as Derwin well. Derwin James, Trey Hendrickson. He's a pass rusher on the Bengals. Like, I'm, I, not not really interested. Trayvon Walker, who I why why are these odds so high? What the fuck did he do last year that he's his <laughs> odds are this high? Bradley, I mean, to me, if I'm betting the Jags, I'm betting Josh Allen, not Trayvon Walker. Bradley Chubb, also on the Dolphins, he's interesting as well. That was that that nice little trade they made with the Broncos. He certainly could be in a good situation. Six, yeah, he seemed to kind of alpha, have, he alpha he dog pass rusher. Yeah, he didn't see reunited to, with Vic Fangio. Yeah, I understand the case. I just it, he seemed to uh, kind of hit a wall there. Once Fangio left, yeah, like it was a di- that's true. Like you want to you look at his, he had his best season in 2018 with Vic Sh- Fangio as a rookie. Finished third place in the uh, defensive rookie of the year, by the way. Anyway, moving along, Von Miller also sixty to one. Those guys are kind of interesting to me. They both could absolutely get it done, but maybe they're a little past uh, when they've been most effective. Yeah, yeah. I, yeah. Bradley Chubb at sixty. You know what, Mark Bradley Chubb for me. I see it. I'm gonna stay away though. And two Dolphins on my list. Yeah, uh, Von Miller, Jalen Phillips, Matt Judon, Matt Judon. He, I think he got votes last year for, um, mm, did he? Yeah. yeah he got two plus, votes, two votes. He's a guy who's going to get a bunch of sacks. I mean, he had 15 and a half sacks on yeah. that Patriots team. So I think that the, getting 15 and a half sacks last year, I think is probably a argument for and against him. Right? Because there it's like, all right, he got 15 and a half sacks last year, but is he yeah. going to, how else does is he, he gonna beat do? that to really move up? But then also you're getting fifty to one odds for a guy who <laughs> had fifteen and a half sacks. For reference, uh, the guys above him: Sauce Gardner, no sacks; Quinton Williams, twelve sacks; Max Crosby, twelve and a half sacks; Miles Garrett, sixteen; Hassan Reddick, sixteen; Chris Jones, fifteen and a half; and Micah Parsons, thirteen and a half. So, so there, there must be something about Judon that just is not interest interesting. To he the plays voters. in a Patriots defense. So he's more anonymous. Yeah. That's probably all it is. Yeah, I'll leave him off. Uh Fred Warner, Chase Young, Kayvon Thibodeau. Ooh, see, the fact that Ojalari is two hundred to one and Kayvon is fifty to one, that's crazy. But yeah, mark me another Homer pick here. <laughs> he's gonna be doing snow angels next to dead quarterbacks. I love how people were offended by that. Pat he's hunting quarterbacks. What do you want him to do? Patrick Sertain. Uh, Roquan Smith, Rashawn Gary, Joey Bosa. Yes. Whoa, what? I mean, come on. This is crazy. I know he gets hurt every time. Yeah, but I can't. I'm not gonna do it. I'll let oh, you do it. Come on. I don't want to jinx him. Joey Bosa. I don't want to jinx him. Joey. Joey Bosa, baby. Why? He just needs He's to a play. Bosa. This might be all right. So play. we saw the 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 Yeah, mark mark me, Joey Bosa. You have to at thirty-five to one, and I would even 
I would even shop this around because I feel like I saw him like forty or forty-five. Chris Jones thirty to one. Aiden Hutchinson thirty to one. Chris Jones. Quinn mm. Williams thirty to one. He was in the vote as you mentioned last year. Kind of feel like he had his best possible out, best possible season. Yeah. He's also kind of holding out right now. Uh, he's holding out more than Barkley's holding out. I'll say that. <laughs> Hassan Reddick, twenty-five to one. I love Hassan Reddick, but almost it feels like how's he going to do better than last year? Yeah, I mean he he had a bunch of sacks in the. It's really hard to you really have to you 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 can't have too much help on your defense. That's no. part of the problem. And and they drafted Nolan Smith. They have Hargra. They have yeah, uh, they, all the Bulldogs. Jalen Carter probably won't be that good. <laughs> Brian Burns, twenty-two to one. He's interesting. Having a rookie quarterback should give him a lot of opportunity, I would think. Um, Aaron Donald, twenty to one. We have to pause at least. I mean, the guy's won the award three times. Is yeah. he retired? Is he not? I'm gonna say I saw him working out with The Rock. Uh, I'm oh. gonna take Aaron Donald at twenty to one. You are so in on the Rams. It's strange this year. Uh, I think you're not even it's subconscious. That's the scary <laughs> part. You're just in on it. No, I just I think they're completely getting overlooked. I mean, Aaron Donald <laughs> Aaron Donald at 20 to 1. I think he probably could have came back if they were in a playoff race last year. I think he could have come back and played. He's 20 to 1. I, I mean, he's still in like a very peak physical condition and he's won it a million times. And this is also to a a certain degree a narrative driven thing. You saw guys like Judon not getting votes. Why? It's clearly not his sack total. So even even <sighs> even in 2021 when he only had 12 and a half sacks, he still was third place defensive player of the year. In 2020, he won it with 13 and a half sacks. Don't you think if, if there's a situation where he gets like even if he gets like 13 sacks, I think he could be in the running at 20 to 1. Yeah, I also just like specifically, I guess, with this award, I'm not super interested in taking like to me this is chalk. Like once you get to okay. twenty to one, you're chalk. I'm right? not. Uh, yeah, I don't know if I'm going any anywhere else. This uh, is Max Crosby. No, thank you. At thirteen to one, Sauce awesome, Gardner, thirteen to one. Sauce is awesome, but again, we've just seen so few cornerbacks get it. It's a tough. You can't take thirteen to one. No, Nick Bosa, eleven to one last year. I mean, look. Uh, why is one Bosa three times the other Bosa? They're both Bosas. <laughs> TJ Watt eight to one. Obviously, TJ yeah, Watt's going to Listen, win these are all year. these are all great players, but I think it's just such a toss up between like Bosa, TJ Watt, Miles Garrett. Michael Better Parsons. way to play the Steelers to win the division at plus six fifty or TJ Watt defensive player of the year eight to one. Yeah, I guess TJ Watt, defensive player of the year, eight to one. And they can he can get that without them winning yeah. the division. Miles Garrett, seven to one. Again, I what did we get? Zadaria Smith, hundred to one or seven to one? What do you like better? Give me the uh the hundred to one. And then yeah, Micah Parsons, seven to one. No, thank you. Nope. I have six. I, I've been sitting here wondering if I should take Aaron Donald with you. Yeah. I'm wondering why they don't have Dexter Lawrence listed here for me to bet on. Um, so maybe the books can open that 200 to one sounds about right. So I'll, yeah, I'll, I'll rattle off mine here. Aaron Donald, 20 to one, Joey Bosa, 35 to one, Zadarius Smith, 100 to one. And then Jalen Ramsey also 100 to one. All right. So uh, I'm not going to take Aaron Donald with you. Although I, I might change my mind in the near future. Joey Bosa, obvious. Kayvon Thibodeau, Homer pick at 50 to one, Bradley Chubb at 60 to one, along with Jalen Ramsey, a hundred to one, a couple dolphins there. That's a fun place. And, and, I, and actually I'm going to, I'm going to toss in one more long shot on Karloftis okay. at 150 to one. Yeah. I mean, you're right. Chris Jones being that high, although I think, and that's, you know, mark me that too. Cause that's, that's a good argument for it. Chris Jones draws all the attention. Yeah. In the same way that Zadarius Smith at a hundred to one. I think there's some value there uh, because he he's able to create pressure in and out just by himself. The fact that he's playing across from Miles Garrett, who is the odds on favorite, he could he could get more sacks, and then it's going to be tough for the, the the voters to give it to Garrett over over um, Zadarius Smith if there's a, a difference there. So I'll add in well, Carl Loftus to my Ramsey, Zadarius Smith, and Joey Bosa, Aaron Donald uh, package, there. and then down the bottom, super long shot. 
Aziz Ojolari, <laughs> two hundred to one. We're gonna we're gonna have a good chuckle on this one. You we sure? Will. Final answer, Jalen Carter, looking right at you. Yeah, I I just I think he could have an awesome year. But even Sauce Gardner, who had a really really awesome year, it's just you're not gonna crack that. Grady Jarrett would be a great Falcon play for me. <laughs> you don't have enough Falcon action already. All right, that sounds good. All right, hey. Thank you guys, as always, for tuning in. Make sure you smash that subscribe button. Uh, toss us a nice rating review over on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, wherever you get your podcast. Thumbs up on YouTube. Subscribe. Got a bunch more uh, content coming your way. The content train continues to roll on. Thank you for participating in the Sports Gambling Podcast. For the Sports Gambling Podcast, I'm Sean Stacking the Money Green, and he is Ryan. Sean, next up, we're going to be looking at most pass, rush, and receiving yards. Kramer, let it ride.